Okay, in this question, they have given us a VT diagram, speed time diagram. So let's try to interpret this first before I go to the questions. This graph part which is above T axis, it means that the object is going away. All right, and this part means it is coming towards towards the home position or going away from home position but in opposite direction. Okay, so suppose this is the home position of the tool. In this part, it is going away. In this part, it is either coming towards the home position or crossing it. We don't know, right? But there is some hint which gives us an information where is it reaching at this level. They have explained everything about the question here and they have informed us to return to its starting position. So basically it is starting from here and ending at the same position here. So it is confirmed that in this particular part it is not going in the opposite direction. It is coming towards the home position from wherever it reached. So now let's start the question. The acceleration of the tool during first two seconds of the motion, that's what we have to find first. That is the first part. Okay. So acceleration we know is the gradient of VT graph. Yeah, this is a VT graph. That means we have to find the gradient of first two seconds. That's it. The gradient of this line, this tilted line. So we know gradient is rise over run. How much has it risen? It has risen 0 0.18 meters per second. And how much is the run? Two seconds is the run. So the answer will be 0 0.09 meters per second. Let me write second here. Yeah. Now, part two. The distance the tool traveled forward while cutting. So we know that this part which is above T axis from 0 to 8 seconds is the positive forward direction. It is not coming, please keep in mind, it is not coming back at this position. It is still going away. Only thing is happening that its speed is decreasing. Okay, so we want to find distance. Distance is the area under the curve. And we'll find the area of the trapezium. This trapezium we can see here. Trapezium's area is what? First parallel line. The first parallel line is this one, yeah? Which is from two to six, which is Four, cent, 4 seconds. Second parallel line is from 0 to 8 seconds. So this is 8 seconds. Right? First parallel line is 4 seconds. Second parallel line is 8 seconds. And the height is 0 0.18 meters per second. So we will use these information to find the area of the trapezium, which will be 4 line, first parallel line plus second parallel line, their average, that is the area of trapezium multiplied by the height. Height is 0 0.18. And now we can cancel this and this. It will become 0 0.09 and 12 times 0 0.09 will be 1.08 meters. Let's go to the third part. Third part is asking the greatest speed of the tool during the return. So we know that it is returning in this part. From 8 seconds to 11 seconds, it is returning to its home position, right? So, basically, this is the highest speed. This negative speed is the highest when it is returning. Then it is reducing its speed and becoming zero means stopping when it returns to the home position. So, basically, we have to find this speed, which is the highest speed while returning, the height of this triangle. Since we are starting and ending at the same position, that means whatever 1.08 meters we went forward, same 1.08 meters we came backwards and came to the home position again. 
That means the area of this triangle is also 1.08 meters. So 1.08 is the area which is equal to the area of the triangle. The area of the triangle is half times base. Base is from 8 to 11, that is 3 seconds. Times height, and height we want to find, which is, let's say, B. Yeah, that is the speed we want. So we'll cross multiply now. So 1.08 times 2, and divide by 3, this 3 will come down, equal to speed. And 0.36, Answer is 0 0.72 meters per second.